up. I'm gonna scroll back here. Uh, Pastmaster Dan, how you doing? I see Noah, how are you? Uh, happy weekend to George. Oz, how are you doing? I'm just gonna be doing some uh, some inks on that ash can cover. Let's start right here. First though, uh, I need to address cake. Um, this is the red velvet cake. I'm eating, I left one piece and yet, yes, I live in a house of, there's a lot of women here. Um, I'm the only guy, even the pets are female. So uh, mini mouse plate. Um, I was gonna take the whole piece. I cut it in half so they can, they can fight over the last piece. I don't wanna take the last piece. It is the, uh, it's the red velvet cake I showed you, the uh, bunt cake. I will, I will eat bunt all day, George. All day long. Uh, Nick Gear, how you doing? Fabulous Nick. Um, I did pin this on YouTube, so uh, if you haven't backed, back today, um, Rage Tality War, back it. I see you, Rizzo. What's that? What's that? Yo, who's that? Yo, yo, pick up the phone. Hello? What's that? What's that? Yo, where's Dookie? Yo, Dookie! Yo. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Bill Andres, how you doing? Yeah, dude. Bunt your mouth, delicious, delicious. It's got the uh, it's got the creamy the cream cheese frosting. Uh, there's chocolate chips baked in there too. I recommend it if you have a nothing nothing bunt cakes near you, or anywhere that makes uh, special like uh, red velvet bunt cakes. If you like chocolate, eat it. Uh, George, is that, is that a Golden Girl shirt? So, George, this is a mashup. Um, ouch. This is a mashup. This is the Golden Girls. If they were that punk band Minor Threat, this is the original Minor Threat um, cover. I think it was for their first compilation. And someone decided to uh, do a photo a Photoshop job with the Golden Girls' faces, and I just thought it was kind of silly. I saw it on a uh, Instagram or Facebook. Click the link, and it's a super comfy shirt. So uh, best eight dollars and twenty five cents I've spent in a while. We have three in the kitchen now. Three bunt cakes. B. Arthur. She's kind of beastie. I used to watch the Golden Girls with my grandma, so I'm not going to clown it. I, I watched, I've seen every episode probably three times. Uh, I'm going to show you here where I'm at on my campaign. So 94 Rich Howdy War number one. I'm at 32,312. Um, just a heads up, the, the next and final unlockable for all backers to receive with their books is a double-sided art print, a mini print, and uh, that's going to be at 33, 33. So getting there, getting there. I didn't think we we're going to hit it, um, but those those uh, secret perks bumped it quite a bit, actually. They're a little more popular than I had expected. So uh, as for right now, da, 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 lots of perks. Um, I'm just gonna, I never read this off, what people get. I gotta wait till, I need to remove some of this art. You guys don't like seeing art on campaigns, right? Uh, campaign stretch goals. Uh, let's see here. So uh, 4,700, which was my original goal for funding. Um, you got a free mini art print, two additional trading cards, which makes four cards, 
Uh, you are you are already receiving two. So uh, four cards. Let's see here. Uh, you got bumped up to a free rage tality sticker. Uh, 7,500, everyone was unlocked a 14-page uh, prologue within the book, additional pages, uh, plus four regular standard additional pages added to the book, making it a 74-page graphic novel. Uh, 8,500, unlocked free additional exclusive cards. <clears throat> um, sticker upgraded to foil, so you're, you're at five cards. Uh, 9,500, get a free poker chip. Notice how this is all, like, free stuff. Um, 10,500, uh, unlocked the for purchase roll poster, which have already shipped. Everyone's got theirs already. And the winner, congratulations to not Andy Perez. Andy Perez did not win that. Don't believe him. Uh, was someone in, uh, another country, which Andy's never been to. Um... And then everyone gets the Rage Ball. So the Rage Ball sticker is like the uh, the Mad Ball sticker I designed that um, Phil Diaz liked it so much, he commissioned me to do one for his campaign. Uh, 13,000, like two additional trading cards. Look at that. Seven cards already at this point. Seven cards plus stickers plus mini print. Um, 15,000, everyone gets the 12-page Richality War issue number two preview. Okay. Uh, 17,000 unlocked four additional pages to reach Tality War issue to Ashcan preview, making it from not 12, but 16 pages. And the second stretch goal sticker is upgraded to foil. The Rage Ball. Uh, 19,000 unlocked three exclusive foil baseball style reach Tality trading card to every physical book order, makes seven trading cards plus one foil card. Uh, 21,500 unlocked free additional homage mini print plus free additional Richality Rage Ball variant edition sticker because I designed two. So you guys get two Rage Ball stickers plus the uh, the standard sticker that the, the very first one unlocked. Uh, 22 to 22 unlocked free exclusive three trading card connecting card set, which I've never done before. Okay, so there are three cards that connect for a panoramic image. Um, I'm excited for everyone to see that. I'm not going to show them. I was going to jump the gun and show that so people could see it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. Um, most of these are surprises. I don't think I've shown much of anything here, uh, to anybody. So, uh, but I will, you know what, today, uh, George, I will show, <laughs> um, I will show off the, uh, the baseball card because I, I, I finished designing it last night. Uh, hell, Skip. Skip, I see you, dude. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, 25500 Unlocked Free Rage Tality or Ashcan Sketchbook. Um, that is the one that has the the Lobo homage cover with the face biting the lip with the blood stream going down. I need to eat my cake. This cake smells so good. Nothing smells better than bun. You know what I'm saying? Um, 27, 250 USDs. USDs uh, unlocked four additional pages to the sketchbook ash can, which makes it a 16, not a 12, a 16 pager, right? Uh, so, yeah, if I do hit this right here, um, I know I'm in demand. I'm still going to honor it. Uh, 33 through 33 locked special double set of Richality War mini print added every physical book order. Um, one side is a panoramic, and if you flip it and want to display it that way, it's going to be a uh, vertical. Yeah, so there's that. You guys ready? It's only so good. So we've had this, what, three days in a row? Three days? Mmm. Um, shout out to everyone who logged in from my chair screen too. Um, I'm going to see something here. 
Let's see my my videos are react. Very interesting. So my chair stream ended up with three times the number of viewers that my standard streams do. I have questions. Ladies are arguing with each other. Um, hell no. What more does war? I still haven't. I, um, there must be something funny in there. My wife asked me if I watched it yet because she did. I was like, no, nah, I don't want to. Um, but I am leaving it up. She also told me my thumbnail for it was stupid. I used the uh, uh, chair from Kiwi's Playhouse. I lived in Tucson. There was a cake restaurant that had a conveyor belt like a sushi bar. Skip, there's a restaurant down the street that has. It's next to the sandwich shop, and I don't know if that might be it, but they have uh, Boston cream pies that are like the best. And I'm going from bunt, I'm going from bunt to Boston cream pies, but uh, the best. I'm probably gonna get one for my birthday. Treat yourself. So yeah, that might be it. Look at this nonsense. Look at chair. See chair? 160, 160 views. Uh, here's my art stream where I'm actually talking to everyone. Uh, 61 views. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Makes no sense to me, guys. Fastmaster says chair was slain. This is a new chair, by the way. Um, my old one, the hydraulics were going out. I had that old chair since, I think it's older than my daughter, 2013 maybe. I ordered one on Amazon. It was a special deal. It got lost in transit, and then they ended up canceling my whole order um, after like a week and a half. So I went back in to try to rebuy it after the refund, and the chair was like twice the price. So I ended up hitting up... Uh, Office Max down the street, and this one was on sale. This is a nice, comfy chair. Uh, Oz says, chat loves chair. Uh, George is voting for the chair. Chair MVP. That's cool. It's a good feeling to know that your furniture has more value than you. Mm. The chair doesn't eat in front, so um damn Noah. Noah says koala over chair over Shelly. Alright, I'm done with this. Hold on a second, I'm gonna stop my cam because uh I like to rinse my plates, so hold on.
So anyways, thank you. Um, damn, it never ends. Chair is the A side, Shelby is the B side. Chair always has your back. Uh, most, some true Shelby, you have to admit the chair carries you every single stream. It's true. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop that screen. It's not here. All right, honey. Uh, sorry if you hear anything in the other room. They're arguing about something. She's seven now, so she thinks that she's uh, her ideas are larger than six six year old ideas. Nice mo. All right. <clears throat> Um, as you can see, I, I usually have some reference materials on my desk when I draw. Um, right now, I was looking through um, Alan Davis's The Mail. Pretty cool book. Um, if you like just sort of uh, encapsulated stories that you can, it's a one and done thing. Um, I recommend this. It's The Nail. Um, I won't ruin it. Jimmy Olsen is the, uh, the bad guy actually in this. A bunch of DC characters, and then this one here is the Justice League, another nail, uh, also written and drawn by Alan Davis. And um, yeah, this one is pretty cool too. I'm not going to tell you much about him, but you get to see Davis pencil out essentially like all the classic, you know, the classic Justice League members and a bunch of other stuff too. So these are both very cool. Um, I do think they made a hardcover of it. Actually, I know they made hardcover it, and it actually might have a lot more cooler stuff. But if you can find these singles for cheap, I would grab them. They're they're just fun books, um, easy to digest. And then I also have out. Um, I always tend to have a Sylvester book on my desk, so yeah. And this is just I. It's common for me to just have a book out when I'm working. Um, and it's funny, a lot of people will be like, oh, are you drawing? Are you drawing something from that? It's like, no, it's just kind of like inspiration, you know? Kind of like doing the dishes with music. It just inspires you. Wait, which ash can are you inking? Aren't they all drawn? No. No, this is for this is for the uh, the Rachel Ward uh, two ash can. You're forgetting because there's the three ash cans, which were the add-ons, and then there's the um, the sketchbook ash can, and then there's this one. So I already have four four fully complete. This one here, um, I've been putting it off. So. I'm Oh yeah, I told you I was gonna show you the I'll show you the baseball card in a little bit. Do you guys want to see the baseball card or do you, you wanna wait? You wanna wait to get stuff to see it. Type one to see it, two to wait. Everyone wants to see it. All right. Let me see here. I'm gonna I gotta find the file. I got files all over the place. Um, do you want to see the front too or just the back? No, I'm not gonna show you the back. I'll show you the front. Oh wow, why is this so all right, so here, this is the this is gonna be the the foil baseball card y'all get, um, and of course, you know, I've already I've already told you, uh, you know, it's an homage piece. It's a baseball card. Uh, say hello to the Ragey rookie. Um, 
in New York. Rich Kelly, time traveling assassin. So that's the card there. Um, yeah, I finished this. Finished getting the file ready. I finished getting the file ready yesterday. So that's gonna be the that's gonna be flipped to foil. All right. So it's a foil card. Um, the back side, I don't want to show you because it's it's kind of silly. So um, I'm not showing you the back. I'll just show you the front. But anyways, right? Yeah, George knows. George knows. So yeah, most most of these things that I homage is gonna be it's it's all the you know. Like, I'm turning 45 in a week, so. Mostly, show me one, show us the back. It says, Paybacks, we love chair, show us your own fault. Chair capture hearts. Left us alone. Uh, no money, no, no money shot. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. That's that's the ragey rookie. Um, yeah. That logo was fun to design. That logo was fun. So yeah, that'll be the that'll be the foil card. Um, and yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, when I was growing up, I, my same friends and I that used to hit up the comic shops. We were also um, avid baseball card collectors. We all played. We grew up playing baseball. I feel like we lived in a baseball town. Uh, baseball and football was the two kind of go-to sports if you're a kid growing up playing sports. Uh, tennis was never really that hot out there. Um, ice hockey's unheard of out there, too. So, um, But anyways, yeah, that was one of the things was I still remember all the hype of like uh, Ken Griffey Jr. when he was coming up at 17 and, um, you know, like the Greg Jeffries card at some point was like $20. And back in the day, that was insane. Like you could, you could have grabbed like a McGuire or Canseco, Canseco rookie card, like full mint for like 15 back, back then, you know, Michael Jordan rookie card, the basketball card was something like 25, which now is like $20,000 stupid amount. But anyways, um, Yeah, so my little love letter to, you know, growing up and chasing the stuff that you can basically get online for free now. Yeah, there, I, I usually don't like promoting any, any, like, super mainstream stuff unless it's, you know, Lobo and that. But, yeah, like the nail... Alan Davis says the nail, uh, the hardcover, like I said, it might, I might do a trade in. I might trade these in. Um, there's a used bookstore that's real big on um, trade paperbacks and stuff out here. So I might trade them in if they have a hardcover and, and trade them in and just swap it out. Because usually the hardcover will have, you know, pencil pages and, um, you know, if there were, I don't think there was any variants on it because it was an Alan Davis project pretty much. But they do usually have, you know, a lot more, like, cool stuff with this, so. Always make an exception for Alan. Let's go on chat over here. Or Chris leaving. Later, Chris Rizzo. Shoot a camera play that for Chris. Who is on crack? Uh, George says Nell is excellent. Nell two, not so much. Mm. Shadowhawk backs. Hell, Shelby, George, Passmaster, Dan, Mo. Shadowhawk, how are you doing today? Happy Sunday. Why is that? No one's in church. What's going on? Like, aren't, aren't y'all supposed to be in church right now? Yeah. 
getting a whole socks Lakers ring. Um, anytime, anytime I have um, ringing ears, it's usually I'm getting sick. It's usually my sinus drainage or whatever turning into whatever nonsense. All right. Uh, well, this is going to be... Uh, I always do this myself. I create these things that require a lot of TLC. Maybe I should wait until I'm offline to do this part. Then uh, tomorrow night, we should be good to do um, our, uh, I can never remember the title of my own show, What Is Even Happening with uh, Me and Andy. That's going to be tomorrow. Um, I don't know what we're going to go over. Let's see here. I'm probably going to bring up, uh, i got a few things in the mail. Mm. Maybe some reference books. I might go over some reference books too. Just because. I'm doing a uh, telephone cable sort of um, wiring on this weapon. Uh, you know, 94 is just, it is a ridiculous project. It's kind of whatever, anything goes for me. Um, and I always liked uh, what like Sam, what Sam Keith was doing in the Marvel Comics Presents covers and that where he would add like strange stuff like uh, i think he did it in the max too like um shredded unit outfits that hang like telephone wire like they they, they all have like curly cues to them and all that you know um so that stuff was always super fun to look at Just do a little bit a little bit of that myself in here <clears throat> Uh, JL Potts, how you doing today? Thanks for stopping in. I'm missing all your... Uh... Well, you guys are talking amongst each other. All right. It's better the chair or nail. Nail's better. Oh, geez. Why? Here, I'm going to play this for George because he'll probably bounce. He's going to get We're burned. a generation of doers. Not whiners. And we're doing great. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm rich as fuck. It's the official George video.
and say we gotta go get um I really got some gifts that require uh triple batteries, so maybe some batteries. Um she got one of those programmable, I don't know if you've seen them, those mice. It's like a it's like a program programmable mouse that you can like select programming for it. It's kind of like a Roomba that just moves trash around the floor. It doesn't actually pick anything up. Uh, past match, so there was chair looked at me the way it does. Shelby. <laughs> uh, George is asking, who's the character over at Shelby's left shoulder? Which one? Yo got mess. Yo got mess. I'm not telling you everything, George. Uh, this right here is a bodyguard, which you've never seen. He's not on any of the preview pages, um, but he's he's a big deal in the book. Um, no, no. Um, yeah. So this this right here is that character Varen, who's one of the trading cards in the campaign. Um, this dude here, not going to tell you. This dude here, not going to tell you. Uh, this right here is Rachelity's boss, okay? And this is one of the operators. And then I got the, uh, <laughs> I got this dude right here. Um, Tiny Rage, right? Tiny Rage. Uh, character of Rachel, one Helen Visor. No, you wouldn't. She's not in the book yet. Uh, Mo says about Shelby doesn't even credit the chair in his book. No, nah, it's a ghost chair. Ghost chair, Mo. Uh, chair have a camp? No. Yeah, she. Yeah, she's a. She's a. She's an operator of the machine that they travel back in. Um, and then also, you know, you'll see, you'll see, I already, hey, look at, I already showed you the, the baseball card based on the, uh, the King Griffey Jr. rated rookie. All right. So that's all you get today. I'm not going to tell you any more about this. Know these tricks. Know all these tricks. Starting this dude. So, this guy here, if you're not familiar with him, uh, see if I got the sketch here. Yeah, I got one right here. Uh, this guy is this guy right here. This right here, right? It's my little, my little tiny. He's he's a he's a complete douchebag. Uh, Ray Rage Talady has nothing on him, but that's him right here. Chair gets the butt of our jokes. Oh, jeez. Shelby treats a chair like Danzig treated Shelby. <laughs> um, chair, you know, I don't owe my chair 500 bucks, dude. Let's just leave it at that. And and I also return all, I return all of chair's original artwork, too, instead of just selling it and saying it, it got lost. It's funny. See, now I'm, I'm second guessing myself on this now. So, Michelle, did you threw me off?
I like the fact that this this character has no ears. Ears are very annoying to draw. Like I feel like I draw them pretty well, but they're just sort of annoying. I think I'm gonna start removing ears from all my characters here pretty soon. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go grocery shopping today. Get some batteries. Um, I am gonna look up that cake place Skip's talking about. I don't know where that I don't know what that would be. And also, COVID shut down a lot of stuff out here, so there's a lot of cool things that are no longer a thing. Ears and noses, get rid of all. I'm not clicking this link. Say what? This might be true. He he messaged me about the chair. I, I said not for sale. Not for sale, Rick. One chair to roll them all. Get get Shelby and uh, Ethan's chair to breed. Make an ultra chair. Both versions. I think both of the chairs are male, though. I don't think that would work out so good. Uh-oh. Joe Hawk says, had a dog with no nose. He smelled terrible. Um, I saw a shirt yesterday. Um, it said something like, The best dads make the worst jokes. I'm not quite at that level yet, though. I'm going to start wearing that stuff. Um, did you guys see my stream? I did... Um, I drew uh, type one, Sean Arnt's type one character. Um, I did a fan art of it. So I don't know if you guys have seen that or not. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with it. See, I can show you. I think I finished it offline.
Yeah, I just did a classic. It reminds me a little bit of Iron Man, obviously. So um, I did kind of a classic look for him. Um, superhero running punch sort of thing. So I'm pretty happy with it. I think it turned out pretty cool. I like my, I like rendering metal. Like metal is one of my favorite things to draw. So, and I like that like majority of him is me metallic. He's got a bunch of mesh stuff going on in here. Just on this area of the lakes, it's almost like a repeated pattern, and I'm like, nah, Photoshop. That's good for Photoshop. That can be in the colors, but you know, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, here, I'll do a show and tell screen. Hold on a second. This will also show you here. Finish inking this little. Little asshole right here. All right, uh, let me find this thing real quick, guys. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, here I'll bring it up in Adobe. Uh, Passmaster says, "I'd love to see a little guy get a car for <laughs> put a, stick his ass in the power wheels." Um, well, <laughs> no. No. Just no. All right. Where the freaking freak did I put this? Oh, is this in 2020 books? No. Uh, final comics. Uh, I think this is it. So this is the flat layer here. I'll share this with you. I'll let you guys see this. Um, share screen. There you go. I'll show you this. So this is this is the guy in colors. You get a you get an idea of this uh his his color scheme. Say allow. Why is it not allowing it? There it is. Yeah, so that's it. that's the color scheme for him. And yes, that's the color, that's the color version of this. That's the color version of uh this guy right here. So this was the inks to that, and then I colored it, and then that's the uh that's the color version there. I gave him um you know a hulkish green. So, yeah, that's this piece here. Um, got some other pieces that I'm not going to show. Just a little show and tell. Uh, hell, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, chat is claiming that you like chair more than me. What's up with that? If you scroll back in chat, you can read it yourself. He's got. <laughs> he must walk like John Wayne. He's got the strut. He's got the John Wayne story. I I went to school with the guy uh, who walked like John Wayne. His dad was a his dad was a chemistry teacher, but never realized it till graduation. And and one of the parents said, um, "He's got the swag. He's got John Wayne swagger." Is what is what they said. Like, oh, okay. Unlike me, who has the swagger like Mick Jagger, uh, 24 Eyes, how are you doing today? 
Uh, Rick says, chair is cool, but can't draw worth the shit. Ain't that the truth, Rick? Uh, John Wayne's real name is Marion Mor Marion Morrison. I believe that. I know it's not. I'm, I know it's not John Wayne. I also know he was small because someone uh, there was some YouTube channel I follow, and they were talking about um, his star on the on the uh, the man the man the man's theater the Hollywood stars, and that most most grown men can't fit their foot. I guess where he put his foot, and then they, they were like, "Well, you know, concrete shrinks over time and stuff." But, um, you know, I don't know much about that. I just know what I hear. Uh, Rick says, "I'm late. I'm at the flea market." Hey, Rick. Uh, Find me a ASM 300 if you could for uh, $8. I'll pay you back. You'd be surprised what you can find at flea markets. Um, someone at one, at one flea market, someone actually had uh, stacks of 90s books. They were 10, 10 for $10. And I found so many books I worked on. Um, and they were all like, Super, super minty, mint, mint, minty condition. So I, I grabbed a bunch of them. Um, and then I did a mail order because they were like, oh, we have a lot more of this stuff too. Like I didn't tell them what it was. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm interested in this. And then uh, they they sent me a list. And I, uh, yeah, I, I completely took advantage of that. It's like, yeah, I'm going to buy all these right here. Um, it's the quickest way to turn $1 into 20 You know what I'm saying? Rick says, I wish. All right. So here, I'm going to stop working on the little bastard over here. I'm going to do her. See what panel am I going to copy today? Let's see. Uh, I should copy. There's actually not a, a lot of this rendering style is kind of obsolete now. I feel like um, this was sort of. I think around when this book came out, it was kind of like phasing out a lot of the stuff and going more towards um, uh, the heavy, heavily shaded stuff. Yeah, you can see it here, like the heavily shaded stuff, because like Sin City and that was coming out and uh, influencing all these artists. A lot of use of like negative space and um, you know the reverse negative techniques and that. To just grab almost a Baron's Punisher run for 20 bucks. I'm waiting for the omnibus, Rick. Um, the Punisher omnibus, like if they ever do it, hopefully they do. Only, and it's not because of Baron, it's actually because of Protasio. Uh, Oz says, should have offered a Skype talk with Chair. Oh, yikes. I gotta leave some money for other creators, Oz. I can't just take it all. You know what I mean? Do you guys like lines?
so many lines in my art. Everything is lines. Um, Rick, make sure you make sure you buy a churro. Thanks for thanks for sharing my campaign too. Um, get a churro, but make sure you blow on it before you eat it because those things are served hot. Um, there's no way Rick's at a at a. Uh, Flea market without someone selling fresh hot churros doesn't happen. Sorry guys, I'm constantly trying to think how I can win back the affection of chair. Watching these stuff going on there. Uh, Nick says, just, just checked out the type one drawing you did. Thanks, man. I'm happy with it. Uh, Rich Holly Awards now over 32,000. I sold 40,000. 40,000? Goals for me? No, Rick, the next goal is 33,333. 30, 30, That's the next goal. That's the kitchen sink goal. Y'all get a double-sided uh, art print. I, I, I've actually already got the artwork back, too, so it's pretty cool. Not everything in my book is drawn by me, as far as the, you know, the, the special stuff. Um, I, did, I did get some freelance stuff for, you know, like uh, some of the bonus art and stuff. Not for the book. The book is 100% me. I'm just saying that the... Uh, you know, like some of the art prints and stuff like that. I do have other pieces. Other pieces in there. Figured y'all get tired of looking at my work, so. You were all so quick to replace me with chair that it's opened my eyes to what this relationship really is. See, there it is. To be honest, I sent for chair. Shadowhawk's asking uh, how much for a night with it. Oh, not for sale. Oh, gross. I need to do one chair stream with Andy. That'd be interesting. Uh, Hell, Corey, how's it going? I like that weird pig creature icon you got. He's colored very nicely. Whoever colored that is a master. 
whatever color that is in master with the, with the wake of not possible. Lost track. I know what that not possible was about. <clears throat> So yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow Andy and I will have our little hangout stream. Um, might have a little bit of mukbang going on. Not sure. There's only so much mukbang that can happen before um, YouTube strikes my channel. That's what I've been told. Uh, of course, is the pig will be in future issues of Kozor along with this piglet work. That's awesome. I'm, I'm going to have to do some more Kozor fan art. Uh, Rick says, you shall be doubting me when I say you get 30. I've got to think big, think 40. Yeah. Everyone needs some Rick Sailor in their life, man. Everybody, everybody. And um, I raised my streaming to, uh, here, let me see if I can raise it again. Y'all can let me know if it starts roboting. Um, anytime I go on with uh, Shane, I have to lower it to 360. I had it at 480, so here's 720. I don't know if it improves the quality of the video or not. If it does start, like seriously though, don't don't mess with me. If it starts roboting, let me know and I'll I'll flip it back. So if it starts roboting, I, I will. It just takes me two seconds to flip it back to the other resolution. But yeah, so anytime, anytime I'm on uh, Shane Davis's streams with them, um, it tends to, for whatever reason, it robots. I don't know why. So then I have to dummy it down to 360, and uh, it seems to fix it. Like people are like, oh, you know, whatever. So. Is that great? No, I, you know, women are cleaning the house. Um, daughter's room is a freaking nightmare, and uh, so my wife is cleaning it. It's been, it gets clean, and then you know, She's seven now, but she's a new she's a new seven, so it's like uh, you know it's not going to be much of an improvement over six. Nobody answered me. Is my video okay, or is it is it roboting, or is it okay, or does nobody care because it's not sure? Type one, if the stream is okay. 
Type two if it's not okay. Type three if you miss chair. I don't even know why I do these things. Why? Why do I do these? Uh, Rick says, "Gonna have to get a filter Las Vegas poster." Uh, you already get a poster with this, Rick. You get a, uh, you get a folded up one of the uh, the reprint the reprint cover. Right? It's not a 24 by 36 like the one that that I put out. But it's still a poster. Rick says one. Uh, Corey says, we got smaller poster prints in Coe's order. Um, Corey, are those going to be, um, are you doing the folded method where they're like comic size, like a double page splash, and they're just folded in half and insert? Kind of like the wizard, wizard ones? Uh, Rick, Rick says folded posters suck. The only... <laughs> Yeah, they only suck when, because you have to um, you have to press them out, you know. But that's the only option though for fitting them inside of you know books and stuff, right? Like shipping them because otherwise the shipping is going to be insane. I know the size of the boxes is, is madness um, when you start, you know, if you had to ship flat, I guess. I don't know. That'd be a good subject for someone someone else's frame, not mine. But that'd be a good subject. Uh, posters, like uh, the what, why, and how, right? Um, Ship them flat. Okay. <laughs> What's up, Derek? Dirk. Dirk. I'm just gonna say Derek. I'm gonna say Dirk. Did y'all run George off? Did you make George leave? I haven't seen George in the chat for a bit. He might have said bye and I missed it. He says, Dirk!
These zero three unit pins are pretty fun because you can get a lot of line variation just based on the pressure of the pin, um, which I feel like the fives and the eights, you can't do it as well. Those ones, you have to be a lot more wispy. Yeah, these are like fairly easy to like build your lines and then also um, a little bit of pressure, you know, can kind of change a little bit of the, the, the uh, some of those little knots we throw in. It's interesting. I, I tend to use this one, I think, more more than the other ones. Um, I'll use the twos as well for like eyeballs and stuff, just because I like to build the lines a bit, have a little more control. But with um, like general like figure inks and stuff, I like using these. These the fives and the eights, I guess. But the threes, you have a lot more, a lot more variance. <clears throat> Why baby links in this guy so, so much? And she just looked out. Uh, thanks, Nighthawk. Hope your weekend is going well. I'll be taking off here maybe shortly. I'm not sure. I'll wait for locking my door to see. But we've got some errands to run. Go, 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 do, go do grocery shopping. So that's another okay. So that's another weird one, right? Um, so where I grew up in California, you go grocery shopping. Um, you just say, "I'm going to. We're going to. We're going grocery shopping, right? We're going grocery shopping." Um, but I've come across people in the past that say, um, "We're going to go make groceries. We're going to make groceries." And I'm like, "How do you like? That doesn't make any sense." Does anyone here say something weird like that? Uh, welcome, thanks. It's great to you. Good. Good deal. Um, yeah, Southern Arizona, it's 86 degrees, which is much better than the 110, 115 we've had for you know, the last eight months. So I'll take it.
the cat is at the front. <laughs> What's up, Mike? How you doing? Uh, Nighthawk, this is for the ash can um, that everyone's going to get who backs my book. Um, it is the ash can for Rage Tality War issue two preview edition. All right. So there's there's an ash can that everyone's going to get um, along with the sketchbook ash can and you know the thousand cards and all that and the stickers and poker chip bookmark. What's going on, Mike, dude? What's going on with Mike? I need to get Mike on the stream. Get Mike to do some uh, some live some live painting. Need to paint first. <laughs> oh, I'll get you to do some. Get you to do some. Uh, are you at the shop right now, Mike? Or are you? Where are you at? I'm not gonna pull you on right now. I'm just asking where you're at. get some stuff for you know thing is, so everybody got a bunch of stuff for birthday some stuff needs battery some stuff need you know whatever so you got to get some stuff for that and, um, yeah if you guys ever buy someone something that need takes like any sort of toys or whatever that takes batteries and you think they're gonna um, you know, need it make sure to buy them batteries too like don't just get them the thing get them a get them a pack of batteries which probably runs as much as the thing right but uh, I'm not pointing fingers. I we're actually the one. I think we're the ones that actually got her. Got her that. So. But still, I'm just saying, just saying, putting it out there. Not to sell.
See, everyone's quiet now. Everyone's quiet. Uh, stuff's actually getting done. It's not a chair string. We're gonna wake you guys up. I should wake you up with. There you go. Not a big fan of drawing um, like super overly technical guns in that. Mainly because it got to re be reproduced in the book. But make an exception for this this uh, cover piece. You guys watch this for a second. I'll be right back. There it goes. All right.
What's up, Carl? How you doing, man? Send this piece to Carl tonight. Get some flats done. Uh, just flatting Chris's pages. <laughs> Carl needs some of those audio SMFs. That's right, dude. I had two of them last night. Um, they were decent. They weren't as good as the ones that we had. Um, I mean, they were different. They're, they're so good, though. Can you zoom in with your fingers so I can see it? Here, let me, let me zoom in right here, Mike. Let me try this. Here, here we go. Here. Wait. Here we go. Is that better? Can you see that now, Mike? I like how this thing's like, nah. How far off is it going to be for it to focus? Strange. Anyways, yeah, there's my details, Mike. There's my little bastard. Little bastard right there. It looks like he's wearing eyeliner. Um... Strange. Mike asked me, he said, can you use your fingers and zoom? <laughs> use your fingers to zoom in. Yeah, man, it's crazy. I showed him how I had a hundred and I think at one point there was like 112 people watching the chair stream. Perfect. What's up? What's up, Snuggy? Happy weekend to you. Uh, thanks, George. I know it looks awesome. It looks great. I know it's looking fantastic. It has to. I can't not. I can't not let it look fantastic, or else I'm in trouble. Feels weird to be out of character like that. Thank you, George. Rose. I'm actually very like modest. I don't. When I say stuff like that, I'm joking. I see faults in everything that I do. And most artists do. But it does actually have to look nice because I'm trying to convince everyone to want to be part of this book for the long haul. Like, who doesn't need some rage? Who doesn't need some rage tality in their life? George, did you go eat lunch? Is that where you went? Um, so I went and asked, and, and she said uh, about 30 minutes. So I'll probably cut this in 20. Okay, in case you guys didn't hear, I finished eating that bunt today. Had a mouthful of bunt. So good. I left a little bit of bunt for the rest of the family.
We've got to share the font. Um, yes, yeah, mud cake. Um, you can see me eating it at the beginning of the spring snuggie. Um, there was one piece left. I would say like a man-sized piece, right? Like something that any any grown well, any grown adult would, would eat early. And uh, so I, I I was nice. I was generous. I I left half of it for the. Uh, the two females in the house to fight over. So that's what I do. That's what I do. All right, time for me to cheat. Time for me to cheat. Where's this little one? Not a fan of circles. I'm not a fan. I don't like you. I only use them if I know I can't get, if I'm not going to, I'm going to biff it. I'm going to biff it. So I'm use this instead. He's got this little round thing, sort of like a, a sensor on the middle of his forehead here. So I have to do this. little sensor circle tiny circles uh Snuggie says should have ate it all mike says don't don't do oh don't use the template <laughs> gots to man gots to i wish i could draw like every shape perfectly that'd be great actually strike that it would not be great because you know what would happen everyone would judge everything else you drew based on your um accuracy of shapes but everything else is inaccurate they'd be like hey so we noticed that you can draw a perfect circle there buddy but uh you know what's up with these faces Ain't that the truth? All right, I'm gonna pencil out a piece of this right here. I so you can't really see it. Oh, maybe you can. I pencil. I roughly maybe you can't. Wow, that's crazy. Can't see it on there either myself. Um, so, anyways, I penciled in smoke coming in here and then up behind the heads a bit. I'm gonna bring that in a little bit more just because. Smoke, I just, I like the, uh, like the plume cloud sort of effect on them. Um, just looks dramatic. So anyways, I don't know if you see that any better, maybe a little bit. But, you know, bringing it in, the wind's kind of blowing it in this direction up through here. And it's going behind everything. Um, I might actually brush ink this just so it's a little bit more fluid. Um, I've been kind of liking coloring, doing some color fills and gradients through things like smoke and walls and things like that. So I might leave it a little open. This ash channel will be seated in the smoking section. Yes. Johnny, how's it going? Happy Sunday to you. It's 
three o'clock in Tucson, which means it's uh, 20 minutes till George goes to bed. Um, Mike, you're still here, right? I don't know if Mike's still here. If Mike is here, I'm going to play him that little... Mike will appreciate... No one else appreciates this. All right, man. Here you go. You got your volume on? This is for you, Mike. This is this is my intro that everyone complains about. Um, let me find it. Hold on a second. Here. Who the heck is it now? Did it disappear? Oh, no, here it is. There you go. This is my intro for tomorrow night. I'll use it right now, though. Tomorrow, I'll make a different one for tomorrow. Night. Show you something. of my streams i have to clip that stuff out like anything that uses uh you know like umg like music and stuff so Andy told me it was creepy. That is truly creepy, says Dirt. Snuggy says, not the clown mask, Mr. Rogers. No. Mike said slamming. Oh, that's where you must have went. So George went. George went to P, so PTP had a stream. Okay, I see how it is. Y'all just leave me for for St. Patrick, all right? That's fine. I'm gonna tell Cher all about that, George. PTP stream was hours ago, says George. I've never left. I wouldn't lie to you, Chair. Where were you? You weren't talking. George was putting on his jammies. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I, uh, I feel like I'm a little jealous of George's sleep schedule. I wish I could. There's, I didn't sleep good at all last night. Um, buddy of ours, um, we went to his party last night. He graduated. Uh, he's now a Tucson PD. So he finished 
he finished uh, police academy, and so we were there kind of late, and then got home kind of late. Daughter woke us up early. Ever getting sleep. I'm gonna stay up all night drawing, drawing. Um, no. I do like life. Actually, uh, Everly calls it daddy cereal. It's, it's not life. It's chocolate chips is what it is. So, um, trying to get Everly into eating more like you know, some different stuff, like like cinnamon thing. She doesn't like it. She's super basic. She likes her um, she likes stuff that's very vanilla. Vanilla, um, you know, white bread, or all that. She doesn't really step out of that. She likes chocolatey stuff. Johnny says, finish police academy on made in part three. Yeah. No, he's a full he's a full fledged cop, dude. Full fledged. He got sworn in and everything. Uh, so we celebrated it by drinking a lot at his house last night. Um so we could ever have a good birthday. Um, yeah, she had a fantastic birthday. Um you wouldn't know because you're not on Facebook or Instagram where I posted photos. I think I posted photos. I know my wife did. Yeah, she had, she had, uh, they did pottery class. What in the, what's, what is this? Burglar, Wolfie Goldberg, Bobcat Goldthwait. I don't remember that. Uh, Mike and chat might remember actually, but every once in a while, Mike and I will bring up, uh, some stuff that one another has not heard of. Mike, do you remember that movie, Burglar? I I don't remember it. I feel like I should. I feel like I should remember it though, because like uh, I'm actually I'm, I love Bob, I love Bobcat. Uh, George says Burglar is great. You should watch it. I will. Um, George, is it on any of the streaming? platforms right now or is it uh, we have right now uh, we have let's see here we got Hulu we have Netflix and then we have Amazon um, we have Amazon Prime is what we got so Don't have Disney. We're actually not, not big fans of it. Uh, Johnny says prefer one crazy summer as a bobcat vehicle. I like I like the police academy films with bobcat. Um, oh, G W Bailey. Um, I don't remember who that was. G.W. Bailey, that's not the sound effect guy, is it? Because he was in the first one. I'm going to look it up after the off stream. <clears throat>
Right, Winslow. Yep. Rings a bell now. Who was Hightower? What actor was Hightower? Do any of you guys like Porky's? Uh, Bubba Smith was Hightower. <laughs> Don't go to the Blue Easter Bar. Yes, do what George says. Listen to your elders. Hit, hit like. Hit the like. Does it even matter anymore? No, like honestly, does it even freaking matter anymore? Um... I just saw that YouTube got rid of. I haven't been on there to look yet, but I just saw that they got rid of the uh, they got rid of the ratio thing because I think too many like too many of those news channels and stuff were getting ratioed hard, like uh, thirty thousand dislikes to you know four thousand likes. Back in the day, Porky's funny. Now it's very dated. Yeah, I like Porky's too. It matters to me, Shelby says George. You know the thing is too, I don't even know that you hitting like even changes um, stuff showing up in your feed because I like all sorts of stuff on channels that I'm sub to and they still won't show me. Like matter of fact, um, yesterday there are two channels um, that I know a lot of people here in chat um, or anyone in chat probably um, is probably sub to. Um, that I was unsubscribed to, and I, I've never unsubscribed from anything. Anything I sub to, I just leave it. So uh, the Utes is doing some funny stuff. Um, I've lost six subs in the last two days. So I don't know if it's like uh, just the site unsubbing people or if they're just mad about chair. Found out chair wasn't single. Tony says, uh, Sally Kellerman was in Porky's 3. She's awesome. Disgruntled viewers, for sure. They missed the chair, says Oz. 
Uh, same thing's happening with 105, back down to 102. Hmm. Well, I know I'm subbed. I know I'm subbed to Noah's channel, and I I don't think I've even seen a stream, Noah. Honestly, um, I what I, I just I sub, I go in, I hit the likes, and uh, you know, I try to help everyone out that way. Like it, like maybe it'll help pump them up with um, like the views and stuff. I don't think I've seen you you do any like live stuff. At least I should say I've seen I've seen streams. I don't I don't I don't think I've caught a live stream of yours if you're doing lives. Is what I'm saying. A little harsh. I mean, I didn't watch it. Did a live stream. Leave your leave your streams up, man. Like just leave them up. Like it, it's if anything, you know. Uh, George is asking when's Mavericks two coming. Uh, thinking of Meatballs three, not Porky three. Meatballs three. I have to go back and watch Meatballs. Um, happy day to you imagine. Happy sun it's Sunday here, so happy Sunday. I don't know if it's still Sunday there. Is it Monday there yet? I don't even know what days. Um downs are really bad. Mike says meathead. Um no, I mean you have actually seen other people's streams, right? Like this, it's not it's not pure gold, bro. Uh, Darth Josh, hell Shelby, hell Darth Josh, how you doing? Uh, sign up for Mavericks two here. Uh, so this is Noah and Chat's book, um, Mavericks two. Um, I'm assuming you're gonna offer Mavericks one in there as well, Noah. And me head again. For anyone that missed out. It's usually the thing. I I'm, I don't assume anymore because sometimes people don't. Sometimes you have to talk them into doing a reprint. So. Had that conversation with a few people. Oh, wow, it's late there. So it's super late where you're at. Um, it's only 3 p.m. here. Um, yeah, there'll be a catch-up tier. Good. So everyone everyone can uh, catch up with Mavericks by Noah. Uh, later on, we're chilling great. Thanks, Snuggy. Thank you, Snuggy. Uh, yeah, Oz brings more facts to the stream. Not every stream can be empty chair gold. Right. Can't overdo it. Can't give you guys too much chair. Um, although, again, I, I will say I did get backers off the chair stream. So thank you. Thank you to my uh, three backers off the chair stream.
fantastic. I hear rustling in the other room, so I feel like my screen is going to end soon. Oh, and, uh, Imagine, just you know, I I am ordering more posters. Okay, I had to I had to put another order in, so um, I got extra one coming. And then uh, when they get here, I will let you know uh, shipping because you're you're pretty far. So I'll let you know what they run with ship. Okay. Uh, Noah says three back. Yeah, absolutely. And what's crazy is I had three live streams with zero backers. So. Uh, Uh, Rick bringing more facts to my screen. If you're a weeb and you love furries, you'll love Mavericks too. Yeah. I mean, I don't see anyone arguing. I'm glad that someone was able to, uh, nail that demographic if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, Noah? You're gonna nail it. Nail that demographic. <laughs> okay. I know I couldn't nail that demographic. Not not from lack of trying. I just I couldn't nail it. Lack of trying. Cool. Yeah, glad you heard that. So yeah, I got like I said, I got more posters coming. Uh, we'll see how long they take. I'll I'll show them on the stream. I'll I'll absolutely put one aside too, so that way you know. I'm probably gonna put them up on my big cartel just to make checkout easier. Um. George says we're having grilled um, prosciutto sandwiches for dinner tonight. So everyone, just you know. Uh, George is going to be eating a grilled, a grilled prosciutto sandwich tonight. Sounds really good, actually. Sounds pretty good. I like prosciutto. We had some um, yesterday. There was some sort of a smoked meat that I kept eating. Um, also, um, last night at uh, last night at our friend's graduation party, uh, who is now part of Tucson PE, uh, is no longer working with ICE. We got a job here in the city. Um, you know, these smoked meats, but um, oh yeah, I had I had something like fifteen or twenty deviled eggs, and I didn't suffer over it. Just letting me, I'm putting it out there. You have fifteen to twenty deviled eggs and not not have issues. If you know what I'm saying, uh, Rick, it's funny to cherish share more viewers. Another show. That's not funny. That's not funny. Uh, Noah says that um, grilled prosciutto sandwiches are good, but they aren't life cereal good. Yeah. 
if you're in a rush, will somebody post it? Oh my gosh, no, Rick. You need to frame it. You need to frame that poster. Tony, and then, uh, so yeah, just a chat note, like after this next poster order, I'm only getting a few of them. They're gone, like, like gone, gone, gone. Like you're not, you're not going to find them. You're not going to find this poster anywhere. I want them to be, I want all my, like, the weird, the weird stuff I put out. I want it to be, like, super inclusive, you know, like, super rare, hard to find. I like stuff like that. I like knowing that people are angry that they missed out on something, you know what I mean? It makes me happy. People, people's anger fills me. So, since you're here in chat, I'm going to hook you up. I'll get stuff made. Um. I feel like I need to thicken up his outline. All right, guys. Um, up, 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 up. All right, I'm gonna end it here. Um, that that's the that's a 24 by 36. All right, 24 by 36 inches of 94 in rage tality. And look, it's bigger. It's bigger than my. Um, this is my original art fouling case. So that there is, you know, 20 inches. Um, why am I getting laughed at? In the other room? What's going on? All right, guys, I'm ending this here. Um. Any any parting words? Uh, George says I'm not a poster collector. No. Uh, it's framed since I opened it. 100%. Yeah. Do that. Do that. All right, guys. <laughs>